Well, hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Amesy's Corner. So, I'm, I'm here in the apartment, you can tell, because of, you know, the, the 60s threw up the, threw up the, the floral pattern on my walls, and that's all I want to show you with that. Um, but we're here in my apartment, so you know that means it's time for an unboxing. And uh, what I have to unbox today is uh, something really interesting. It's uh, a hydro assist fuel cell. Um, this is something that came out, these were really big about uh, 2006, 2007. Um, you started to hear people using uh, a hydrogen generator inside of their car to turn water, you know, ordinary distilled water, into hydrogen and then using that hydrogen as a fuel to run the engine. Um, uh, and, 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 and the theory sound, uh, hydrogen is, I, I believe it's five times more potent um, than, than gasoline. Uh, but the trouble is, is, is making it and storing it and, and having an infrastructure that would, uh, would dispense hydrogen into a car. So, uh, so what they did is, is a company, uh, if I can see if I can remember to get his name right, uh, Dennis Lee, I think it was, was his name? Something like that was the guy that 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 came out with this. Now, uh, this uh, this hit a lot of skepticism back in the day, and uh, the Federal Trade Commission cracked down on him, and uh, they they called it a scam. They they called this a scam, but uh, there was an installer who worked with the guy that designed this, who had installed these, and he he honestly said that that there was a lot of problems with the system. However, he did say that every, just about every vehicle they put these in did see a, a very noticeable increase in fuel economy. The trouble is that economy would, would degrade in, in, a, in a month or so. Some, you know, in a month, the car would get worse fuel mileage than it did before this was put in. And um, I, I think there's a reason why maybe that is, and we'll get into that when we get into this box. Um, one of the very interesting things about this box is it has it's numbered this one's numbered one of nine hundred and ninety seven so I'm guessing this this and I was told from where this came from that this was one of the first ones of these kits that was released and and I don't know if that's true or not um, we've had it kicking around for a while you know the box is dirty and but it's all complete so uh, let's uh let's take a look at what we got in here so basically these use three different systems um, to to help get better gas mileage the first being the hydrogen it, it makes this will make high this will turn water into oxygen and hydrogen it uh, it separates because that's that's all water is 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 oxygen and hydrogen uh, molecules or, or atoms and and if you can separate the the oxygen you're left with flammable hydrogen so we got a we got a pretty thick instruction book Let's see how many languages it is Looks like just one language, just one language. So, um, that over there. So here's, uh, here's how it's packaged. Interesting, interesting. Looks like they give you just about everything you need to do it, even a, even a funnel. Yeah, an ordinary funnel. And we got, looks like we got some assorted vacuum line, wire sheath. Looks like some uh, some hose, some wrap, some tools. Look like a tubing cutter. That looks like a tubing cutter. Some uh, those are for biting these special clamps down. What do we got here. We got covalizer. So this would be the third part. Um, the, the 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 third part is just an additive in your fuel. Um, basically, this is just like, uh, like uh, what, what, is, what would this be? This would be uh, acetone, maybe, um, yeah, it's not going to tell you. Acetone, let me, uh, hold on a second here. Yeah, acetone, xylene, and uh, toluene. So it's basically just a, just a generic fuel additive, really. Fireball or STP pretty much the same thing as those interesting thing this is uh 
not much in there. Wonder where that went. But that's just that's just your your, your basic injector cleaner mix. Pretty thick, pretty heavy gauge wire. This is probably for the uh, the electrolysis, the uh, giving power to the the hydrogen generator. So we got a uh, what's this? Use the whole bag. Looks like I got a, a big sack of, of Coke. No, I don't know what Coke looks like. I've never, I've never done it. Never tried it. Never had it. Ha ha ha. Never will. I don't know what that is. Probably filter. Something that filters. Something caustic. Burns. Neutralized vinegar. So looks like a little syringe. Piece of different size tubing. What else we got? What's this? Fuel cell. Looks like just a piece of plastic. Yeah. And then, looks like we got the guts of the kit. So this would be something. Let's, uh, where to start? Where to start? So, the way this works is it has a, I believe it has a PCM in it that communicates with the PCM in your car. Um, a lot of newer vehicles, a lot of uh, OBD2 and, and, and computer controlled cars, if they get if they, if they get too good fuel mileage, if they're if, if they get too good, they'll just think something's wrong and, and over rich. So this is supposed to be something that um, that communicates and, 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 and helps to solve that problem. Probably tells the PCM it's it's running, you know, normally even though it's it's not. A lot of, lot of wiring connections to be made, I'm seeing. So, we got the computer brain. We got the HAFC vaporizer. So this is basically, um, I believe this is an ionizer. This is the second technology. This is something that's been out there for, for a long time. I remember when I was really young, I had uh, my... Uh, grandfather worked for a fleet company I think it was or someone worked for a fleet company and this will be just something that goes in the fuel line and it's basically just got some really big magnets in it I'm gonna guess that's just has some really big magnets that help to to break down the fuel before it gets into the into the system um, interesting so that's that's the second part of part of it the first part being the the additive to help get you a little better gas mileage. Then this is some old school technology, you know, to kind of help break the fuel down before it goes in and gets atomized with the air and out the injectors. So we got a reservoir. I'm gonna guess that this is the reservoir that you would put this stuff in. Well, no, you probably mix that with the gasoline. So I don't know what. I'm not sure what this is. And I know it's just some sort of some sort of reservoir. Yeah, I, I still haven't fixed my focus on this damn camera. I'm getting I'm getting Sony'd. I'm getting Sony'd here big time, boys. Getting Sony'd big time. So get the darn thing out of there. So this looks like it's just a just a reservoir of some type. I wish this focus was a little better for me here. Oh well. So reservoir, and then we have. You stay focused. I need a new camera, guys. I need, I need to get a new camera for Christmas. This is getting ridiculous. Whoa, that's heavy. Now I can tell by the weight of it, this is the actual generator. The Oh, yeah, there it is. The more wires, more stuff. It's like a solenoid. These are those, those hose clamps that that funny pair of pliers will clamp down on. Solenoids, relays, wires, more wires. In the heart of the kit, oh, probably weighs about 15 pounds. And that would be, this would be the thing that uses electrolysis to separate the oxygen from the hydrogen. This would be in underwater, um, under distilled water ideally. And then you'd run current through, probably through these, 
maybe that. I'm not even sure. I really have never really looked at this yet. Um, so this makes this this breaks down the bonds and releases hydrogen, and then you funnel off that hydrogen, and uh, it gets put into the intake tract to help give you better gas mileage. Now. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do with this, guys. I really don't. I'm not sure what to to do. The uh, the price of this kit is was when it came out was uh, well over a thousand dollars. You know, I think I think when they first came out, they were upwards of like fifteen hundred bucks to get all of this. And um, like I said, you, they would get uh, you'd get good improvements in gas mileage for you know a few hundred miles, and then it would degrade very fast. My guess, by looking at all the all the connections to be made, um, now you had to have this installed by a special licensed or certified by the company that made this. It had to be installed by you know a qualified person that knew everything about it, trained by the factory. But um, it was one of those guys that were trained by the factory that installed it that said they caused more problems than they were worth. But honestly, I think it's because this is something that you're not going to get good gains out of something like this for a long time if you don't know how to use all of this. My uh, my guess is is they would put these on a car, and like everyone is nowadays, they just want to put the key in, start it, and drive away. They don't even want to be bothered to to check their oil or anything, you know. So I think what was really going on is is this this. I mean, it's a big unit. This thing should make enough gas, enough hydrogen to make. An increase in gas mileage, but I think they were just, you know, getting dirty. Not, you know, you have to service these, probably a lot. I'm gonna guess. You know, I've I've never actually, like I said before, I've never actually played with one, but I just have one here that I wanted to to take a look at and show you guys. <clears throat> I'm uh I'm not sure what I wanna what I wanna do with this. I'm not sure if I should should find a car to put it on. I don't really want to use it on any of my own vehicles. I mean, I guess the the Sonnet would be a candidate for this system, but, you know, what's the point? The car's just, I don't even care about gas mileage in the Sonnet. So I guess I have this, I have this kit that I gotta find someone, anybody out there want to volunteer? Anybody out there want to volunteer for a hydrogen fuel cell in their car? Hit me up. If you're, uh, you're anywhere around southern New Hampshire, maybe we can, uh, we can put these claims to the test. We'll uh, we'll figure something out to do. We'll figure something. Um, I'm not sure what else to do with hydrogen. <laughs> I guess we could always make a zeppelin, right? You guys want to make a zeppelin? Well, I don't know. I don't know. I figured I'd just show this. I've had it kicking around. I've been looking at it for a few months now, and uh, I haven't really done a a fresh video for the channel for a few weeks. You know, we just uh, we're so busy getting used to a new shop up 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 at the shop getting used to where everything is we we kind of scheduled really light and uh no big jobs or nothing really really crazy we're just sticking to like brakes and oil changes so that's why i i really haven't had any good new videos in the shop just because you know it's just so much going on so i figured i'd i figured i'd show you guys this and um yeah if anybody wants to wants to try it out um you know i'm sure we could figure something out or if anybody knows of anything to do with hydrogen, uh, I got I can make hydrogen. Well, anyways, guys, um, yeah, the hydrogen assist fuel cell. Well, all right, guys, I gotta I gotta put all this junk away now. So um, until next time, keep it out of the cabbage. <laughs>